Welcome, 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 friends. Yet another session of uh, technical analysis series. Today we will discuss about engulfing pattern. Actually, we have already completed our single candlestick patterns. And from today onward, we will discuss about different type of multiple candlestick one by one. As usual, for this engulfing pattern also, we will discuss in detail about its formation criteria, then thought process behind this formation. And based on this two information, we will have a trading setup and ultimately our stop loss and expectation from that very trade. So all we will discuss in detail. Up to now, we have learned single candlestick patterns like Marabuju, both of these bullish and bearish in detail. Then we learned about a spinning top in detail. Then we learned about doji, different types of dojis. Then we learned about paper umbrella. And under paper umbrella, we have learned about hammer candlestick, then inverted camera hammer, and hanging man. And at last, we discuss about shooting star. So all the single candlestick patterns we have discussed and learned in detail one by one. Hope you are doing your exercise and getting immense benefit out of this knowledge. Now coming to point, engulfing pattern. So what are the, uh, the criteria for formation of this candle? As evident from topic itself, multiple candlestick. So this is a two candlestick pattern. And in combined candle, these two candlestick then gives a signal or then gives a wonderful information to act upon. Suppose as usual, we are discussing if market is a downtrend and this downtrend is arrested by a new candle engulfing first one, this downtrend, first observation candle, then it is an engulfing candle. The candle. So let us see in pictorial view and I will give you some more details so that it will be quite clear for you. So here you see bullish engulfing pattern. So if a market is a downtrend, after this downtrend, what happens? One red candle, last one it is forms. As usual, this closes on a certain price. Next day, price opens lower than uh, previous day, the observation candle. And what happens? It continues to go up and engulfs first one, this observation candle, and closes above opening price of observation candle. If this happens, it clearly shows that the first candle is fully engulfed by second one and such type of formation is known as bullish engulfing pattern. Just opposite of this, you can see if a market is uptrend and such formation happens after in the top of the this this closing price and the next day, this open price is above this first day of observation candle. Again, this open price and closing price, this closing price of second day is lower than first one. It fully engulfs first one, first candle. So it is a bearish, uh, bearish engulfing pattern and from here, we can expect market to go in downtrend. For some more clarity, older days, this is smaller body, then this big body, 
this closing price, opening price, this is the lowest price for the day, the highest price for the day, this. Now we see in a chart, what you see from here, this market is coming down, down, down. Then what happens? This downfall or this downtrend is arrested by formation of another green candle. This candle fully engulfs first one. What we see here, this close price and next day open price is gap down. And close price is gap up of this open price of first candle, this observation candle. If such patterns happen from here, there is great chance to market go up. This very stock will go up and we can get benefit from here. So this is the thought process behind this. We can say that market is in downtrend. BR is, BR are in full control of market. Every day market is falling, falling, falling. Then one particular day, what happens? Market starts gap down, but during the day, during the period of trading session, bulls comes up and try to take control of the situation and ultimately bulls are successful to control deer and totally engulf the deer. So here is we see bears are exhausted, but now bulls are in full control of the situation. So from here onward, we can expect to market go up because bulls have come to market for that very script and they have full control over the situation. Again, what to do, when to take trade. So there are two possibilities. For risk takers, if he sees this formation around 315, 320, 325, then she can enter into a trade and expect market from next day go up. Just adverse people will not take trade. They will wait and see next day. If next day market is opens in positive direction for this very escape script, then only he will enter. If next day candle, that means third day candle, is not in green. They can wait for maybe a couple of days. Once it has started this upward journey, then he can take trade. So here he can trade, take trade. Okay, of course, it should be above this price. This closing of observation can above this price, he can take trade and expect to get benefit out of this. If trade not goes in our favor, then what to do? We have to have a stop loss. This lowest price of this observation candle, second observation candle, that should be our stop loss. And if a script goes beyond this, we should be exiting from this. If it goes in our favor, we should continue. So what we can expect from this trade, we can expect from this trade this much of profit. From where this started to fall, this very point, same line, we can expect this much of profit. First target should be to get here and get out of that. That cannot mean we should be rigid to get that much profit. If market reverses at any point on time, and hits our trailing stop loss, we should exit. If it is not hitting, it is going up, up, we should continue to this journey till market reverses or we see another pattern, some reversal pattern is forming. Then only we will exit from the trade. Just opposite of this, if market is in bull and if we see like here, this market is bull and such formation happening, 
there is great chances to start calling market from next day on work. Trade setup. Before discussing trade setup, let us discuss about thought process behind this formation. Here we see market is in uptrend. But on particular day, what happens? These bulls are getting exhausted and bears try to take control and ultimately bears are able to take control of the situation and engulfed the first one completely overpowered the bulls and successful bears will continue to sell that various script and market will continue to fall for at least four or five days, maybe longer. So this is the psychology behind this. If you want to sort this, what we can do, we can sell below this price, this lowest price from here, we can sell here and continue there. What will be a stop loss? Definitely this top of this red candle will be our stop loss. If this trade no, does not go in our favor. We can exit at very, at very point. If this goes in our favor, we will continue our journey. And how much we can expect? From here, this has started. So we can expect this first target should be this much line. Here we can expect to exit. If market continues to fall and if we want to be there, we can be there and see when another signal is coming and when there is another thing, then only we will exit from that very trade. Another thing, very important thing is whether we should be flexible with our this or no. Yes, of course, we must be flexible with our in any pattern is maximum 60 to 70 percent successful probability of success is 65 to 70 percent only yes of course we can add some indicators oscillators and through which we can have better judgment and our trade can be more beneficial we can expect to enhance our probability in our favor for those indicators, definitely we will discuss in future videos, not now, to avoid complexity. We should understand things one by one with clarity, then we will definitely introduce a small, a small this complexity and discuss indicators, oscillators, and how it works and how we can enhance our probability in our favor. Let us see some examples here. This reliance market is in downtrend. Then this formation happens. These two candles, first observation and second, these forms of engulfing pattern, bullish engulfing, and from here there is an upward journey, and we can take benefit of this. Second, again, we can see here there is a downtrend, and then no, no, this is not, this is wrong. Here, okay, this is in downtrend and from here, this forms and goes upward journey. Another example, opposite for there is engulfing pattern, this forms and market goes down. Let us see another one. Again here, market is in uptrend for some time and then this formation happens and from here downward journey is started. So with all these examples, you will be quite clear about formation of bearish and bullish engulfing pattern. If you have any comment, if you have any question, please provide your comments in comment box so that I can clear those doubts if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel so that you can get free knowledge in detail.
by this uh, closing today's session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.